Hello everybody and welcome back to the Library of Ruin. Alrighty. So, the first thing I want to do, just straight away, because I know that I missed it in the previous episode. Here is how I got the, uh, the two pages from yesterday. Uh, Hanafuda and Jakan. So for Hanafuda, we need, and I wrote them down uh, when I got them the first time, just in case it was anything special. We need Yuna, and apparently that's it. Um, I used Carnival last time as well, but apparently you don't need that. Uh, okay. So it is a two-act fight. First you go against these three guys, and then you go against these two guys and Jakan. Jakan drops a purple page that is all about bleeding yourself, but it also really benefits you to bleed other people. Now, to get the other one, Hanafuda, we actually need to use Jakan's, but I don't know if we have... Well, we could use Rusted Chain. There we go. Rusted Chain, Oscar, Moo Moo. And you will get Jiang, which is a four-person fight, and they all have discard decks that, honestly, they're kind of tanky, but other than that, they're really not anything special. But I figure since you do get quite a good drop from Hanafuda, it would be worth it to show it. And just to show their pages... Hanafuda is a legendary, it's a legendary all about discarding, but it has really high stagger resist, so yeah, still pretty useful. And then Jakan, like I said, is all about bleeding, and if you're bled a lot, you also increase how much damage you do. So yeah, overall, pretty good. <sighs> now, <laughs> I know some of you are going to want me to do some of these abnormalities. But, I, I feel like I want to wait. I want to wait on these until I do, oops, these four receptions. That way we're just a little bit stronger. Like, we'll do it before we get to the next level. But I would definitely like to be a bit stronger before we, you know, proceed. I don't know which I want to go after first, if I'm honest. Um... I mean, I really like the sweepers, just aesthetically, so maybe we should go for them? What do we need? Book of a sweeper. Okay, well, we have 48 of those, so I guess we'll just start left to right. That might be a mistake, but I guess we're going to find out. Only one act. Hello, Miss Lala. Here's your prescript. Lara에게 내일 정오까지 바늘 세 개를 밀리의 생일 케이크에 넣어라. To Lala, put three needles in Lily's birthday cake by noon tomorrow. 혹시 내일 생일인 옆집 릴리 아주머니 말인가요? By Lily? Does it mean Mrs. Lily who lives next door? I did hear it's her birthday tomorrow. 저도 모르겠어요. I'm not sure myself. 아주머니께서 바늘을 먹고 다치시면 어떡하죠? What if she bites one of those needles and gets hurt? 혹시 모르잖아요. 릴리 씨가 운 좋게 먹기 전에 알아차릴 수도 있죠. You never know. She might luckily notice the needles before she eats them. 아니면 라라 씨가 미리 바늘이 들어 있다고 알려드려도 되잖아요. Or you could tell her in advance that there are needles in her cake. 어, 지령의 내용을 말해도 되는 건가요? Oh. Is it okay for me to spoil the prescript to her? 지령에 그런 말은 없었으니 괜찮을 거예요. The prescript didn't mention anything about it, so it should be all right. 그래도 이상해요. 며칠 동안 이런 알수 없는 지령만 받고 의미가 있는 건가요? It's strange though. I've only been getting weird prescripts like this lately. Is there a meaning to this? 지령이 수행되지 않으면 검제 보호를 받지 못해요. If you don't carry out the prescripts, 
The index won't provide protection. You have a family, right? I hope you can fulfill this one smoothly. Okay. Hello, Mr. Lee Diokgu. You've got a new prescript. What now? What am I supposed to do now? Uh, sorry, sir. I sadly can't do anything for you, even if you cling to me. Now, take in a deep breath and read it out. To Lee Dot Goo, play rock, paper, scissors with the third person you meet and play rock. If you win, pull out 59 strands of their hair. Uh. Then apply seafood cream pasta sauce with mealworms fed on styrofoam to it three times and eat it with the fork. Uh. Oh, you, you guys are sick. You're telling me to eat that? I had to make risotto out of sewer water and give it to Minji next door just a week ago. They ate it without asking and ended up going to the ER. Ah, yes. I'm sorry. All I do is deliver the prescripts. Please, I'll give you as much money as you want. Or let me get a different prescript just this once. I beg you. I'd love to change this, but I don't have the authority to do that. Everyone faces a test of faith in the prescripts. I hope you can overcome this. Ah, uh. uh, wow, you are gigantic. Wait a minute, I recognize you from what the sweepers were talking about, but you were all black. That's not the voice I was expecting. Um. Okay. <laughs> How do I even do that? Mr. Jorian, long time no see. 안녕하세요, 글로리아 대행자. 글로리아도 이곳에 라마커스 씨에게 용무가 있어서 오셨나요? Hello, Proxy Gloria. Do you have business with Mr. Lamarcus here, too? Mm, 맞아. 지령을 받아서 말이야. <laughs> yep, I do. I got a prescript. <laughs> 저기요, 라마커스 씨. 안에 계시나요? 말씀 좀 전하러 왔어요. Hello, Mr. Lamarcus. Are you there? We're here to talk. Mm? 안 되겠네. 나한테 맡겨줘. This won't do. Leave it to me, sweetie. <laughs> Hey, here it is! Aha, there you are! Please, please, I really, I really had a problem. It was a tiny issue! Did you not carry out his prescript? Did this person not carry out his prescript? Yes, I got a prescript for Ramakos. I got a prescript for you. Nope. So Prescript came to me, telling me to smash Mr. Lamarcus's frontal lobe. Usually, proxies only receive prescripts on the rare occasion of someone else not carrying out their prescript, Mr. Lamarcus. You're kidding me. Kill the painting you've drawn. Does this make sense to you? Painting was everything in my life, and I smeared my own art with ink, stabbed him, tore him, painted pictures of dead people in many different ways. I did everything! Huh? That's a tote simple problem. Just pick anyone from the streets, use them as a model for your painting, and then kill them. Isn't that a no-brainer? Uh, uh, this, this, this isn't my fault. It's the prescript being too vague. It's not the prescript's fault. You were too dumb to get it. You sick. I did all I could to live. I relate numbers to a guy called Ryman. I, mean, I moved a unicorn plushie to a park, and I even found a way to green from the white wall in High Inn. I'd been doing so good. Too bad you couldn't keep it up this time. I understand that you tried, but... Once we get a prescript, we should carry it out, and no exceptions. I'm sorry. Ah! 
Hello, Mr. John. Here's your prescript. <laughs> to John, stand on any three-way intersection at 3.38 tomorrow. Look to the east and wave seven times. Is this really all I have to do to be protected by you guys? No need to pay money like with all the other syndicates? Yes, that's the case. All you need to do is carry out each prescript accordingly. Sweet! The index really is the best! You don't ask for back-breaking fees like, uh, like the others do. Will you please reconsider? Nothing is truly free in this city. I just have to carry out the prescripts that come to me from time to time, don't I? The nest went under so suddenly, dangerous gangs started prancing around the residential area. And other syndicates all wanted me to pay absurd amounts of money, or sign these ridiculous contracts. The index is the only me and my family can count on. If you believe so, you'll be safe as long as you follow the prescripts. Maybe. Hello, proxies. You have a new prescript to carry out. New prescripts, huh? We've been getting prescripts a whole lot more often these days. Prescripts will be prescripts. It's not like you ever cared about how many you got. I have no doubts about them, no. Though, we might be seeing a lot of bloodshed with the thumb and the sweepers at this rate. I don't have any blood left in my body to shed anyhow. If war is what the prescripts requires, we shall gladly wage war. It's our role to act on behalf of the prescripts' will. <laughs> we will carry out the prescripts we've received first. As proxies, each of us will convey the content that prescript messenger Yan gave us to the proselytes in our family. What are the prescripts about this time, by the way? Let's see. Mine is to extract the spinal cords of 37 year old people in this nest. Every 37 year old in the nest? Dunno. It's up to proxy Esther to clarify ambiguities in free scripts, you know? It does target all denizens of the nest. Search for every single person of that speci specified age and take their spine. Our family's task is to exchange the left leg of the 14th person we come across today with the right leg of the 26th person we run into. They're so out there, it actually feels strange to get a strange, straightforward prescript for once, you see, Jan? Eliminate the thumb. No time limits. This one needs no explanation. I will send my proselytes to the library as my prescript dictates. Oh boy. The index is really coming for us, huh? It seems the prescripts are often vague and need clarification. I haven't seen them myself, so I frankly have no idea how those instructions look. Don't know who made the prescripts either. It's impossible that they could ha could maintain such a massive syndicate following orders that come out of nowhere. That's the scary part. Those prescripts seem random, but they work out in their favor somehow. And no one knows who's responsible for making them? I haven't seen anyone that knows, at least. The prescripts are long since... are long since appointed as a star of the city. I can hardly believe that so many are following such amphigury so blindly. 
That's pretty much everyone in the city. Like they said, people all just live according to the purpose of life, given by someone or something else without thinking twice. Heck, those who are still lost without a purpose would gladly take prescripts. Even if they require them to yield their own lives. They are willing to declare war against a thumb because a prescript said so. Life surely isn't one of the biggest concern, concerns for them. But that's only a conflict between syndicates, not wings. Can it really be called a war? Hey, man, you have no idea how big they really are. When the hundreds of finger-affiliated syndicates all clash at the same time, the scale in the aftermath is most certainly comparable to that of a war between wings. This town's gonna be noisy with those fanatics around for a while. Each scene boosts the power of a random type of offensive die by plus two. Okay. Draw one more page at the start of the act. And a chance to boost everything. If Singleton, all, all dice on this page gain plus one power. What? All dice the user play Oh. Hmm. If there are seven or more pages in hand, all dice on this page gain plus two power. Jeez, seven pages? On use, restore one light. If singleton, add plus four power. A character is singleton if their combat bookshelf does not have any duplicate pages. Well, that's like every single one of my characters, so that's perfect. Except Kelana. Kelana has duplicates. All right, you know what? Let's take out our boys for a spin. Huh. Pierce power up. Huh. Feeble. Okay. Huh. Go figure. Cheese has the very, like, nice music. All right, let's see what we can do then, shall we? Quick mode off. Juggling! <laughs> 11 damage. Nine. And we lower the cost by one permanently. Well, for this fight. Ugh. Dang it. Eh. Okay. Ah. Oh boy. Oh. Well, I can basically tell you that this team is, um, probably not strong enough. I am already seeing a couple weaknesses. Okay, I've learned the gimmick here. They all only go for a single target. I don't know why, but they all only go for one person. So, whoever they attack, they're sticking to them like glue for the rest of the fight. Okay, so that's just what we're going to need to adjust to. We need to figure out who they're going for, and then work around that. So, just gonna see what we can do. All right, here we go. Okay. Jeez, the stagger they do is pretty insane. <sighs> huh. So they're just gonna keep going for A. Yeah. Okay. So I was right. They only go for one character, and they just ignore every other character's existence. Okay. Gotcha. All right, let's see what we can do. Okay, immediately staggered into 20 damage. What in the world? Ay, ay, yay. Okay. I don't know if we're gonna be able to do this fight. This seems kind of insane. Let's, yeah, um, this isn't happening. 
Let's go ahead and try for one of the other places. She Association. We have two fights. 친구들, 들떠서 너무 성급하게 처리하지는 마. Now, friends, don't get too excited. You're rushing it. 내 친구가 울다가 지쳐서 기절하겠어. My poor friend is about to for, uh, is about to faint from crying. See? Selma, Selma, 가여운 친구야. Selma, oh Selma, you pitiful friend. Why do you say it like that? Is it not Thelma? 그래도 너무 엄살 부리지는 마. You'd better hold your tears in, though. 아직 제대로 재미조차 못 봤으니까. The real fun hasn't even begun yet. <웃음> 아유 매콤한 연기 땜시 고통은 별로 안 느껴질 텐데. <웃음> Spicy smoke from me wee pipe out of all your pain, eh? <웃음> 왕씨 이 친구 참말로 겁 많아. <웃음> hey, this one scared the little fellow, Wang. <웃음> me pal. 그러게 <웃음> 말이야. <웃음> 아직 1347% 정도밖에 못 떴는디. <웃음> sure is, sure is. <웃음> I still only flaked about what? 1347 slashes so far. 가만 보자. 푸른 성님이 어느 정도로 포를 떠더라고 했지? Now let's see here. <웃음> Blue fella, how many slashes did you want again? 친구라도 약속을 어긴 셀마의 죄는 중하니. Thelma may be a dear friend of mine, but breaking promises is a serious crime. So... 1만 포 정도로 해둘까? How about 10,000 slices? 알았으라. 맡겨두랄게요. Alrighty, alrighty, leave it to me, chap. Um, hey, Missy, this friend, ya, doin' their own, ta, chama, come on, uche. I'll bugger it, you, me, you greedy old ass. You can't just eat all of it, all of it off the slice of the plate. Ah, damn it, the kid's turning on me. Kid, I'm not going to hang you, you. Crikey, you're gonna pop me your drums. Well, heat them anyway, so I'll not have some now then, hmm? Chacha! Mani namasunke kukchungaji maldrago! Now, now, there's still plenty more for all of us, so don't fight over some itty bitty meat. <laughs> I don't know, his voice is not the same as when it started. Uri chingudu yibi biokendi! I gotta try and. Nobaya shigata! I gotta try and flake enough to feed all of us full. Thelma, don't give me such a look. You knew the terms of our deal. You were handling all the tasks so well. You can't just fail me in the end. Well, feller, looks like this feller has something to say already. Do we gotta pull the gag out of his mouth? Sure, please do. <laughs> Oh no! Well, settings are gonna be a little bit messed up now. How ridiculous! You know what? It gave me an impossible task in the first place. Uh, it was your only choice to empty. No. It was your choice to employ Section Two of the Southern Branch for this Thelma. You could have had Section 1 deal with some of them. Little Mr. Prideful Thelma tried pulling a shabby scheme to get rid of Section 2 so he could keep his seat. And now he's failed to keep up his promise with me. But you, you gave me the hint to use them! I never said it was a must though, now did I? All I asked was for you to take care of things on the list within the period I set. And you agreed to it. <laughs> If you kill me, the branch manager, and section one of my branch will be after you, and GHQ will too. Even Hannah is gonna make a move. So please, please give me another chance. Oh, Thelma. 
You just can't bring yourself to say sorry for breaking our promise till the very end. It aches my heart to see it. Oh, and you don't have to worry about me. Remind me where we are, friends. It's the back streets, I of uh, District 23, shit. Well, really. Uh, you know, I'm not. <laughs> well, really. I, okay, I cannot keep their voices up for the life of me. Don't this poor old lad realize it's nighttime? Cause he wouldn't, his eyes are covered tightly like. Aye, aye. The night in the back streets. Bingo, bingo. No one will ever know where or how you died or who killed you. You'll just slowly melt away from the city, right? I'm sure he will. Wait. What? I'm certain he will, Sir Argalia. Okay then, let's proceed with it, friends. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, sir. I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry for breaking our promise. Hmm. What do we do, we do, blue fella? Do we cut his shore here? Thelma? Yes, Argalia, it's all my fault. I swear. I swear that I'll never try to pull any cheap schemes. And I'll never break promises with you ever again. Ah, uh, Thelma. I'm about to shed a tear. There's no way I'd actually spare you for making a sincere apology. I knew you weren't the brightest friend in the supposed shed, but I didn't think you'd be this slow. Still, I'll take your apology to heart. Now, now, it's time to put your back, your gags back on, lady. Say ya. <laughs> I mean, we can such a sad friend in the face, lad. We all gotta have more smiles and laughter in our life. What do I do next, fella? As soon as you're done with him, head to the library. I'll leave the invitation here. And take good care of Thelma. He was my old friend, all in all. In all. Oh, no, you bet we will. Take care, laddie. Now then, Eileen, shall we go meet some other friends? Of course, sir. He's totally won over the heart of leader of the Church of Gears, huh? Ugh, that absolute madman. He's a fixer, and he's got a distortion and even the smiling faces on his leash. Being a color must mean having immense power, is that right? Mm-hmm. Colors are exceptionally skilled fixers, even among grade one. An association assigns a unique color to each of them. Assigned a color. They're the best fixers in the city, basically. Their pay is way up there, too. I suppose the boo blue reverberation was assigned the color blue. Yep, just like how the red mist was assigned the color red. Is he as strong as the red mist? Well, in terms of sheer power, the red mist in her prime is probably above him. But there's a whole lot of fields of fixer activity, and the situation could differ for each case, so it's hard to make a fair one-on-one -on -one comparison. For example, the Red Mist like to work alone, but the Blue Reverb is leading an urban nightmare class syndicate, as you can see there. Could we get the Blue Reverbation's book if we ever happen to need it? Maybe, if we tried by any means. The city would be much better off without that maniac, too. Oh, would you look at that? This place is a whole nother world. Don't get too lost in it now, lad. You gotta keep your toes in the tiger's den. Uh, it's about time the director showed up. That's their gimmick. Their voice is never the same. <laughs> it's definitely not that I can't remember how to exactly do it. Greetings, dear guests. Nice to meet you, lassie. Hey, would you have a book of an old pal named Eugene here, eh? We do indeed. Oh, really? I guess there really is it. A blue fella is really is a scary one. Sure is, sure is. Everything's going as it is. May you find your book in this place. 
Hopefully this will be easier than the uh, garbage that we <laughs> threw on the other one. Smoke applies outgoing damage instead of incoming... What? Smoke amplifies outgoing damage instead of incoming damage on this character. Oh no, that means... <laughs> on hit, if target has seven or more smoke, inflict two para paralysis and one feeble. If target has three or more smoke, draw two pages. Inflict seven smoke. 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 Use smoke. Smoke. Okay. Smoke build. Whatever the heck that means. Let's bring out a... Well, I mean, we could bring them out. I want to bring out... Yeah, let's just win. I put down to need some Oh, let's see what we can do. Bang. 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 <laughs> oh, I don't know what smoke does. Ah, about to run with flay. I don't understand anything that just happened. Okay, what's smoke do? Deals <laughs> deals thirty percent more damage. <clears throat> Can stack up to ten. Dice power plus one if the character has nine plus smoke. Lose one smoke at the end of each scene. Oh. So they just do insane amounts of damage. So basically, we should give smoke to Hod. Hod should smoke. Jeez, what is with them all in, like, loving one character lately? What is... What? Ugh. Okay. Ow. You know, for breath, that hurts an awful lot. Ah. Okay, we're, I think we're fine. Ah, everyone gets a little bit of protection. We do a good amount of damage. At least I think we do. Uh, you know what? Glitter on Cheetah. Uh, I got... Got one whole person. Take... Wait. So... So it's only their armor that allows them to do extra damage? So, smoke is terrible if used against us. combo, ain't it? <laughs> oh, meal would be good, but at the same time, enemies lose one power in clashes? Ooh, you know, oh, these two are the ones I'm thinking about, but I'm gonna go for alertness on her. May as well just make her do as much damage as we possibly can. That's the end of the fight. Trust you me. We'll end it one way or another. <sighs> Wait, isn't there two fights? Mm, that was only fight one. If the character has smoke, boost stagger damage dealt with attacks by smoke times... 10%. Mm. Once per scene, if the character has smoke, respond to a one-sided attack with block die. On a successful hit, the target had eight or more smoke, inflict two paralysis. Well, we're dead, I can assure you that much. I don't really know if we're gonna manage this fight either. Um, I don't think we're doing this fight either. 
our tankiest department does uh, a whopping nothing, and the other apartments just can't quite do enough. So, yeah, I guess we're not doing this one either. Excellent! I do so enjoy the difficulty spike that has, uh, you know. We, it was a very led up to difficulty spike. It definitely didn't just come out of absolutely nowhere. You know, that that would be a silly thing to assume. We're two people down and we still have part two. So, we'll just die so we get whatever books we do get and then we'll just, I guess, try the third one. Well, I mean, we got their pages. Not that I think it's gonna help us very much, but we got something. We can also do Hod. Uh, gonna be honest, don't think we could do that either. How about Emma? Can we do Emma? This is the eight o'clock circus. We bring the bestest of smells to the city of people who have lost their way. What? Yeah, whatever. What? The 8 o'clock circus? Don't tell me. Do you perhaps not know what a circus is? Well, no matter. Venturing into unknown tastes always comes with a stomach ache, after all. We are the circus whose singular purpose is to spread the flower seeds of the people. If ten people could become clowns and blow up 1,000 flowers, oh, just imagine how wonderfully joyous this world would be. B -b BS. This is. Uh. Easer. Oh, what the. These. These are all. People. My oh my oh my. Our new clown friend still seems, seems to be a shy one. Maybe I should introduce you to the rest of the troupe first. Alright, Miss Mermaid and Mr. Knife. Let's share some of our salts with him. Stop. Stop it! Oh dear, oh my. Looks like Miss Mermaid didn't have enough practice with her scaly mane, you lackadaisical girl. Your voice is too small. Or are you feeling timid all of a sudden? Whatever the case. You maniacs. This is all abnormal. Why is he never lighting up? Who gets to decide what's normal and what's abnormal now? If everyone wears a hat weaved from fancy rats on their head, should that be considered normal? <laughs> huh. You won't ever get to be considered normal, that's for sure. Rump, you're such a rude fellow, aren't you? The eight o'clock circus. Now I remember. You're the ones who kept Wedge Office busy. And everyone at Dawn Office died in the library because they couldn't help. If it weren't for small fries like you, maybe my master and Sion Bay would have been safe and sound. Talk about a coincidence. Huh? You, you're actually starting to give a similar stink as mine. But the stench isn't strong enough just yet. You're still too fragrant. Shut up. I'll slay you. Here and now. Hmm. Still smells good. Way too good. But what if we mix that fragrant with a smelly smell to create a new boggy scent? Okay, all right, let's perform with me, shall we? Young Philip. Master? Sionbe? What the... What are you... A big hand for the three clowns who will lead the show. Clappity clap. I... What have you done? Whoopsie daisy, you're making such a humpy face. Surprise is a stimulant, one that leads to laughter and entertainment. A true flower only blooms after you've faced your biggest inner abscess and squeezed all the pus out of it. You can't laugh to your heart's content until you've swallowed the fragrant pus of sadness whole, you know? Gross. That's where I would like to help you. Philip, I'm sorry I couldn't answer what you asked me back then. Uh. <laughs> oh, what an unexpected turn of events. I, uh, but master, 
already has a wife and children. <laughs> Talk about childish. That is such a typical telenovela we have here. Shut up. You... Don't you dare insult my two mentors with these false delusions! Pardon? I would never. Isn't that what you're seeing right now? The putrid scent that you believe to be true in your heart and blindly followed? Whatever. Whether it's true doesn't matter. You were so certain about it, too. I don't get why you could be trying to denounce your own claims now. You're pausing it at just the right moment. Like it's a rerun you've watched over and over. There's got to be a reason. Shut up. Shut up! D Did you know? The reason I shunned you and the topic he wanted to discuss with you. No. This has to be a dream. That, that pesky clown. That's enough, Philip. We were simply... They're all the same. You all toyed with me. Young Philip, what efforts have you actually made to advance your goals? You must have spent most of your energy fabricating all sorts of filthy and uncouth delusions about us, simply because Yuna was reluctant to answer your question. Am I wrong here? Do you think you have any right to blame us? Stop! Stop it! I... How pathetic. You ran away alone, and now you're playing the victim. It was your incompetence, and you didn't even try to fix it. All you were doing was shamelessly looking for excuses. You ran off without us telling... You ran off without us telling a... Telling yourself... I don't know why I'm having so much trouble speaking. It's almost like someone else is trying to speak for me. That it's to save us, and now you're blaming us for it. You're believing whatever you want to believe, because it makes you feel better. Isn't that true? After all, it's much easier to pretend you're thinking of others before yourself, rather than accept who you really are. You both abandoned me. Died like that. You still haven't realized it was foolish of me to put my trust in you. Shut up! What, why, why do you show up now and haunt me? You keep bothering me till the end. Just leave me alone now! It would appear that you require assistance. Uh, not feeling quite talkative, are you? Well, it's fine. We all have... We have all the time in the world. So let us open... Open up, inch by inch. When a person feels victimized or vexed, someone has to reach out to them and give them a helping hand. I shall be that someone for you. That is why I am here for. Now, hold my hand. All right. I will kindly extend my arm this far for you. Are you... are you going to make my wish come true? If you honor your wishes, I will give you what you need to make them come true. Does this offer still sound unsatisfactory? I can grant you strength to avenge yourself on that prankster who inflicted so much suffering upon you. Or I can provide you with a most powerful weapon to save the two people you cherish. Uh, I don't want to hear anything. I don't want to see anything or speak anything. I'm tired of it all. Right now, all I want to do is just cry out loud. But of course, I can help you with that. Pay close attention to her voice. Uh. See no evil, hear no evil, speak no evil? What's this now? You started exuding the same stink as mine. Aren't you a man of talent? You never told me you could make such vibrant expressions. And... Oh. Could you be another jester to visit us? You're looking splendid. Yes, hello. My name is Pluto. You've come at just the right time. The three of us could make for a wonderful show. Now, may I ask you a single question? Was the relationship between the three people you just showed on stage the actual truth? Pfft, how lame! Why would anyone care about that at this point? What matters the most is that the show gave our audience fun and entertainment, isn't it? Creating illusions from one's distorted desires, is it? 
I can see that this place amplifies people's desires to the maximum. <laughs> You're also a rather smelly individual. Oh, did you also hear her voice? Never mind that. Now, now, the audience is waiting, so please join me for the rest of the show. I'm afraid the circus music must come to an end as of today. Golly, what are you even talking about now? Philip, here is an invitation for you. Move onward. And Oswald, I invite you to a far grander stage where we can hold the greatest show you could imagine. That's one miserable guy, I gotta say. Are you sympathizing with him after all this time? You called him selfish and dangerous the last time we saw him. I mean, that's... I'm not really showing any sympathy, if I had to explain. I still think Philip is a hopeless personality-wise, but the circumstances he's getting into doesn't seem to be helping his emotions at all. I know I said tragedies like that are common, but he probably still feels cornered, you know what I mean? Seemed pretty close to overcoming that, but then that clown named Oswald broke his will again. So it's hard for me to just laugh. I don't really enjoy watching others rolling in a pit of misery like it's some kind of entertainment show. Oh, not trying to be sentimental, of course. That's that, and this is this. I see what you mean. It was his own failure to overcome it, after all. That aside, I wonder how he ended up looking like this. The surge of emotions crossed the line of ego, which caused him to undergo the so-called distortion phenomenon, thus turning him into an abnormality. So that's how distortion is made, huh? I could still use some more explanation, though. That looked kind of similar to how people are turned into books here in the library. It's similar to the process of abnormalities coming into existence as well. That one is still unstable, however. Distorted desires and emotions. What do you think the stage will show you? It's gonna be my wife. 100%. You get the picture. Woman I couldn't protect walks up to me. I cry in despair, etc. You're quite honest about it. I got nothing to lose, so there's no point in lying. Where is this? Who talked about me just now? <sighs> Interesting. There's three of them. You have a pretty voice, eh, lady? What? You don't even want to deal with me because I look like a kid? Did that lady with a pretty voice just stare us down or something? Yeah, she did. Talk about a weird place. <sighs> How uncouth. Well, guests are guests, I suppose. Oh, Philip turned into three babies? Okay. What now? What's up with that noise? Uh, I bet that one's making all kinds of insults at me. See that door behind me? You'll go through there. Door? Yeah, doors are good. Where's the door at, though? She's pointing, She's pointing at something. Is she telling us to off over there? Make haste and get in. I don't feel like getting caught in your annoying powers. <clears throat> Separated minds. Unite when all children reach zero. All librarians restore one light and ten stagger afterwards. Oh, good. They're going to turn into Philip. Cannot see a portion of the information of combat pages used by the crying children. The ability is nullified when the character is staggered. Becoming staggered to, does not temporarily change the character's resistances. Instead, one of the character plays a page with a die carrying the following effects. Oh. Murmur. Okay. Well, let's make it a three on three, shall we? May as well bring Roland. He did comment. Ego! I had a feeling. Sally? Immobilized. Cannot act for the duration of the scene. Sally? Oh dear. There are things far beyond our work in this place. Oh! Ha. Huh. I see where this is going. 
Well then. No, bad idea. Burn them. And also, overcome them. Protect. Yeah, let's see what happens. Dodge it. Excellent. Nicely done, Roland. The dodge build. You think that is enough to stop us? She's immobilized. Hmm. Very well. Well, may as well see who we're targeting then. Nice. Okay, they're all going for Barra, seemingly. Ah! Jeez. That does a little bit of damage. Pulsation. So long as we attack, we gain strength. <laughs> Staggered. Okay. Pretty good damage. Roland's gonna take a... Okay, he's alright. Ah! Be gone, tiny beings. Okay, so they're gonna play... Yeah, they're gonna play cards next turn, I think, that makes them take more damage. I'm not exactly sure how that works. Vera, if you could, please finish that one off. Likewise, do as much damage as you can over there. And then I want to go for sharp nails here. Rah! Ah, oh, pretty good damage. Not enough. <laughs> Although it certainly got close. Oh, they're all so low. Ah, we can see their targets now because one of them staggered. They only really have one move. Good. Great. Dodge build. Be gone! They can't die. Okay. Ah! Two down. One to go. Who's the most injured? Roland. Go figure. Okay. I... Yeah. Okay. Try and keep Roland alive. Ugh. <sighs> All three down. So I assume they're gonna. Oh! Seeing, hearing, speaking evil are all deeds that I can consciously prevent myself from doing. Shimmering. Oh boy. Separated minds. Separates upon reaching zero AP. Zero HP. He's gonna separate again? Turn a deaf ear to those who need it. Distorted illusion. Burn, burn, burn. Oh, good. Oh, great. One to ten? Uh, yep. It looks like you gotta start dodging, my friend. <laughs> Gain protection. Let's do it. Ah! Not great. Jesus, so much health. Great dodges, though. Fantastic dodges. Tiny bit of a heal. No one's that close to dying, but at the same time, fervent beats might be what we need to just finish it off. But if there's another act... Vera, I'm trusting you. 
join me in this feverish act, and we shall bring the pain. Let's do this! Fervent beats! Very in-character thing for Barry to do. <laughs> I might die, but you'll die far before I do! Almost got it staggered. Here we go! Good. Excellent! Good dodge. Good dodge. Keep it up! Okay, a bit of paralysis. That'll help out. Here we go. The final turn of Vera. Woo! She does it. However, the split. <gasps> Bro. Well, fervent beats absolutely helped. However, I don't think there was a world where we get out of this one. Okay. Ah, I can't dodge it. He does have sl he does have um, scars though, so we'll see if he can do it. Oh, I can't move now. Well, that's a guaranteed loss. I don't even get the option to try and uh, survive. Jeez, he, uh, he survived quite a bit of it, though. Dang it. I'm noticing a trend. By the way, I muted the music for now because I cannot stand the circus music with how many times I have to do this fight. Um, yeah, I'm noticing a really just awful trend of needing to go back and do fights, but those fights are growing awfully difficult. Uh, this is, uh, this is quickly devolving into, um, fun, uh, interactive and enjoyable gameplay. And speaking of, hey, you know how we need to get the Book of Emma? Well, we need to get the Book of the Wedge Office. Which means we, first of all, to attempt this one, we need to do this one. And then we need to come back here and do this one, which by the way is Corrupted Philip, in order to get the book to do the mission to let us do the real mission that we want to do. Oh, it's just so much fun! Alright. <clears throat> I changed some things up. For example, we have changed Ingvar's cosmetic, just a little bit, as well as his face, and he has a few bits of new dialogue. Very good, very nice. Um, we also updated some builds, not all of them, but some of them have been updated. Basically, just swapping out, uh, it's, what's it called? It's a puppet blockade with, g -g 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 -g. because this gives two light, even though it does cost one, and this only gives one. Not to mention, the rolls are higher on g -g 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 -g. so overall, I think it's worth it. We basically just swapped all those out. So, I think we, we can do some of these fights. I just need to prepare a little bit better for it. But, I do want to see what this one is all about. This is also a two-act fight. So, I guess we're gonna see. Oh. The train has arrived. It will be available at the terminal in 10 minutes. Alright everyone, quickly, let's get moving. Let's see what kind of mess it got into this time. 
하, 저번 같으면 좋겠는데 모든 승객들이 합장을 한채 제자리에 다소곳하게 앉아 있었으니. Uh, I really hope it's anything like the last time. All the passengers were sitting still in their seats, clasping their hands together. Is this gonna be a guy or girl? I'm guessing girl. 선배, 그런 경우는 극히 일부라고 하셨죠? You said that it's that's an extremely uncommon occurrence, though, right? 맞아. 대부분은 서로 내장으로 기차놀이를 하며 지랄을 하던데. Yep. They usually do arts and crafts with each other's organs and stuff. 교육 영상으로 봤겠지만 각오는 해도라 신입. <웃음> You've probably seen the educational footage, but you'd better be prepared, noob. 난 아마 평생 워프 열차는 못탈 거야. I don't think I'll ever want to take a warp train in my life. 기억을 다 지워준다고 해도요? Even if it lets you forget all about it? 너 같으면 이런 꼴 보고 잘도 타겠다. No thanks. No, what happens absolutely kills the deal for me. 이봐, 준비 다 됐어. 열차 정돈 시작할 거야. Hey, we're all ready. It's time to start the cleanup. 문 열어. Open up. 신입, 매뉴얼대로만 하자고. 매뉴얼대로만. Fresh meat. Just follow the manual. Remember the procedures. This one's pretty typical. Ew! The stench is so strong even with my mask on. It feels like it's physically stinging my nose. Hello? You're still alive, right? Hmm. The flesh is spread thin in an attempt to maximize the surface area. The subject is determined to feel as much pain as possible. This one would classify as a suicidal. Oh, you're pretty good, aren't you? A lot of newbies... Oh, wait. Messed up the voice, I'm sorry. Ooh, you're pretty good, aren't you? A lot of newbies can't help but puke or faint on their first field job. Okay. Uh, <laughs> sorry about the weird cut and then having to read the convo log. There was a parrot in my backyard, and I needed to go deal with that. It belonged to somebody. I don't know who, but, uh... Hey, friendly enough bird. I mean... I've never had a conversation with the bird before, but it was a first for everything. <laughs> um, he ended up flying away, so hopefully he just went home. I don't know that, but I mean, I can just assume the best. Hmm. The flesh is spread thin in an attempt to maximize the surface area. The subject is determined to feel as much pain as possible. This one would classify as a suicidal. Oh, you're pretty good, aren't you? A lot of newbies can't help but puke or faint on their first field job, even with the help of educational footage. Cause she's from District 23. Can't say I've seen worse, but I'm used to seeing this level of grotesque things. Now, now. Clean up agents, identify the genomes in your designated carriages and place the passengers back in their seats. Gross. Look at all, look at that mushy eye still rolling around. I can never get used to this. I wonder how long I'll be doing this work. You said cleanup agents go through a memory erasure procedure and get the retirement fund when they quit, right? You seriously buy that crap? You should know something's up, especially since you're from the back streets. You mean that's a lie? It'd probably drag you to some dark room and kill you without anyone knowing. Whoops. Don't tell anyone I said this. My employees review my employee review results weren't too good this time around. You know I was just kidding, right? <laughs> Maybe I'll consider keeping myself quiet if you buy me dinner. How about Gopchang Jungle? Gopchang? You mean beef tripe? Rose, I I'm starting to get scared of this newbie. Is that true? <laughs> Gotta do some work, work, sort out some genomes. And I just gotta put them back in the seats, correct? Yep. Yeah, let's put them on their seats, and they'll be restored. Good as new. Sen, Leslie, stop your work immediately. We're going back to the office. What? Passengers have gone missing? Hey, keep it down. We, we don't want anyone to hear that. Dig? This room is in maximum security anyway. 
It's not just any passengers. The ones in first class seats have disappeared. The higher ups are gonna have a headache over this too. First class passengers disappearing is already a significant risk, but we've also lost some time. The time quota wasn't fulfilled. Warp Corp has never had a single incident ever since it became a wing, hasn't it? Gee, I wonder what went wrong now. I... The engineers are investigating it for now. Take a look at this first. Okay, I'm sorry. Leslie just seems super sus. Oh, this must be the camera that only records important moments based on the emotional flux of people nearby. I saw it in an educational footage. Ugh, what's up with that? Did people merge into one at some point? Those guys look like doctors. They're stitching bodies together so precisely. I pity the cleanup agents who will have to tear them apart. That entity possessed extreme physical strength. Sixteen of our agents were killed by that thing alone. Love town. They made a town for themselves too, huh? That doctorish duo must have been an anchor of the town. The townsfolk are all crying since they're gone. How did they get off the train, though? Check this out. It's footage of our first class carriage. Who the... are you... Ah! Do you know who I am? But do you? I'm a member of U Corp. Who sent you... Who's behind this? Who could it be, I wonder? <laughs> Must be the invisible strings that are doing all of this. He's stitching the flesh of living people and putting strings in them. The heck is that guy? Got any contact from Hannah Association? Is that a syndicate or what? That seems to be the one called the Puppeteer. Looks like he has quite a reputation in the back streets. What's his grade? Urban Nightmare. But he just laid hands on VIPs, so he'll be exalted to a star of the city in no time. And here, the one next to him is Blood Red Knight. She's a former star of the city that was shot down some time ago. Wait, is it possible for a star to come back after being shot down? Heck if I know. Why did they take the train? we're in charge of and do all that. Most importantly, check this part out. The first class passengers, no, puppets as designated by Hannah Association. You can see those puppets sign a piece of paper here, yeah? Oh, they really are? They're writing their names on a gorgeous looking piece of paper. They just disappeared? Whoa, what? Ain't that a real teleportation? This is the very same kind of paper they signed off on. Um, are you actually gonna... Rose, please give us a break. We're signing this paper as well. This is, a, this is the so-called invitation from an urban nightmare dubbed the library. Ugh. <laughs> I struggled like a dog in District 23, and I barely made it into the swing. It's orders from up top. No choice but to follow him. We'll bring a few other cleanup agents with us to the library. Dude, what if we refuse this order? Then we're fired. <laughs> so it really wasn't a malfunction. Those crooks at W Corp, they knew everything. Uh, I took a couple warp trains. I took warp trains a couple of times before. Don't you remember anything that happened inside? Nope, not at all. All I can remember is admiring the marvels of modern technology after getting off the train. Look at those employees. Following manuals, making jokes about it, taking care of flesh chunks so casually. Lobotomy Corp was no different. Still, it's rather intriguing to see another wing's mortifying secrets with my own eyes. I see that everyone is the same after all doing detestable things simply because it's their work. They can be apathetic about it because the suffering inflicted on others is none of their business. It's... it's gonna be sick if we made a book out of this. 
Imagine if this knowledge leaks into the world. I bet no one will ever want to use W Corp's trains anymore, yeah? Which would make W Corp that much more desperate to retrieve it. I'd welcome that. I can learn even more about them that way. Up front as always, our Miss Librarian Director. And I take pride in that. For real? Yep. They made a whole <clears throat> kingdom on the train one time. Appointed each other's kings, knights, nobles, and whatever. The town is nothing compared to that. Treason and schemes were rampant, the kingdom fell into decline, and loyal knights made valiant efforts to save their failing country. Wow! What happened next? Greetings, dear guests. Enough chit-chat, agents. Hey there, have the puppets been here recently? You mean the puppets made from W Corp's first class passengers, correct? How much do you know, lady? They have, of course, and you may retrieve their books so that no one else would learn of the incident. If you fail, however, other guests may obtain the books that hold the secrets of warp trains. W Corp would be totally screwed then! We're going in right now. May you find your book in this place. Hey, maybe we'll actually have a fight we can win. <laughs> what? On a successful hit, deal 10 bonus damage on a 10% chance. <laughs> Why? Oh, I... Okay. Gain three charge. Gain charge, recover HP. Gain six charge. Gain 10 charge and become immobilized. Spend three charge to boost power of all dice on this page by three. Holy crap. Yee. Um, well. Let us see what we can do. Very well. Alright, let's see what we can do. <coughs> ah. 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 Jeez. Ah. Dang it. Jeez. Gamble. One more time now. Oh boy. So what does charge do? Affects the properties of certain combat pages. Ten charges can be stored at once. Interesting. You are stuck like we were. Let's do this! Nice. Uh, maybe not quite so nice. Ah! 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 Eh. Eh. Ah! Meh. <laughs> uh, well, let's create a rhythm, shall we? Alright, here we go. Big free hits. Ow. Don't stagger. Okay, we're fine. Ah! Ah! Yep. Ah! Meh! One more time! Sakura! We'll be staggered. <laughs> Alright, metallic ringing. The time has come to an end. I only wish I had that last turn. You know what? A daring decision indeed. Alright, here we go. Indiscriminate shots! Oh! Get... A daring decision indeed. Ah! Ah! We're fine. A deep drag, in fact. Bah! <laughs> ah! Gotcha. Gotta hang tight. Yes, you're running out of fuel, little agents. How about I dispose of your trash? Ah! Wah! Ah, excellent! Not quite so. But that sure is. Ah, we only got one. <laughs> that move is so hard to pull off. 50% chance to reset my patootie. Almost down. So close. Juggling. The silent mist. 
the binding arms. And a gamble. <sighs> Just a tiny bit of healing, whatever we can possibly get our hands on. Blunt dice gate power. It's over, Johnny! Ugh. Hey, a little bit of a heal. Oh boy. <laughs> Rose. Uh pretty tough. Speed if if speed is at four or higher, deal 13 bonus damage on successful hits at a 10% chance. On a successful hit, deal 13 stagger damage at a 5% chance. On a successful hit, deal 10 bonus damage. Rip space, exclusive page. On you, spend all charge. Has a charge times 9.9% .9 chance to succeed. All dice on this page gain plus 8 power. On failure, deal 20 damage to self. Okay. Uh, damage, damage, chance to boost, chance to boost. Okay. Uh, if a character did not use any pages, gain 1 strength, 1 endurance next scene. Huh. Well, we still have a second department too, so um, see what we can do. Okay. Eh. Meh. That's fine. So much health regen. This is nice. An opportunity has arrived. Ah. Okay. <laughs> ah. 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 A shuffle. And a daring decision! <laughs> Bru Dude, Yesod's build of just pure blunt is so good. Like, <laughs> I know it's probably not a good idea to just have a build that has one type of damage, but it's so good. Go! Uh, mm. Ah! Yes! Excellent, Ingva! <laughs> Let's run and start hitting! Ah. Oh, Alright, that's stagger. A mannequin. A deep drag! And a gig 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 Okay, Ingvar's alright. I got a little close. Uh oh. Uh, 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 ow. Ah, aha, excellent. 44 damage. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Uh. Oh, my God. You got this. Okay, maybe not. Ha! Ha! Uh, I'll take that. <laughs> Two of them are locked up. Now's your chance. Sakura. An opportunity has been spotted. Look at that 12 heal! <laughs> Alright. Mal's discard deck can be a little bit fun, I'll admit it. Discard deck can be fun, but you like, you have to be completely built for it, otherwise you just can't really do very much with it. Oh, well, that sucks. Yeah, that, uh, ah, ah, stop it. Offensive die. Oh boy. Actually. Restore one light? We need to go for that. Unfortunately, I think Mal might die. Mm. Mal! Alright, she's fine. Mal is a okay. Eh. A gamble! And now, the Sakura. Ow! 
That didn't quite work out. Binding arms! <laughs> oh, this build is so good. Good. Excellent. A multi-hit. <laughs> oh, yeah. Flip the table! <sighs> wow, we actually won a fight, guys! Jeez, so many books. Hopefully that lasts us. If this book become does become available to the public, W Corp might face closure like Lobotomy Corp did. Though it would collapse in an entirely different way. I know this is an odd time to ask, but about the plan that took place in Lobotomy Corporation, the one that made you go through countless repeats, was Elf Corp's disintegration part of it too? In a way, the finale of that plan was to share the enlightenment gained from the cycle with the people of the city, sacrificing El Corp as a whole. El Corp's insane suicide plan succeeded somehow, huh? No, the, fa the plan failed spectacularly. Actually, I ruined it. What? But didn't the White Nights and Dark Days happen as a result of it? I never said the plan was a success, now did I? I only said it was over. What do you exactly mean by ruining it? Remember what I said about my creator, how he birthed me on a whim and renounced me when I didn't meet his arbitrary expectations. The sabotage was my modest little revenge on him for imprisoning me in the million year cycle of reciting the same script over and over underground. And a small gift for myself. I couldn't bear to see his plan succeed with my two eyes. That means that the distortion might not have happened if the plan went through. Perhaps. There's no need for me to care so much about others in the city, no? You're right about that. Hey! Okay, let's burn some books, huh? One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, one, two, and one, two. Give us something good. I want something good. That's not. <sighs> okay, let's see if we get lucky. We're gonna have to do that fight again. Woo! At least give us the legendary. Dang it! <laughs> well, it would have been nice to at least have the little bit of extra firepower, but I guess it was not to be. Okay, just slowly going down the list of fights that we uh, did not win. And... Still got Endurum, even though he was at exactly one health. Painful. Okay. We're back to where we were. Here's the only issue. Now we need to actually win. So, Clash, Clash, Light. And then I wanna do Clash, and Clash. Big damage here, big damage here, and get some light back here. Okay, Let's see what we can do. Excellent! Ho ho ho! The power of the Sakura! Ah. Ah. We're right. Okay, and may not be. Ah. Yes! You made a grave mistake trying to attack me, little beings. Oh, here it comes. Bam! Bam! Debuffed. Ah! Excellent debuff! That was a really good turn. Okay. I want to increase mouth damage. Here we go. 
I'm trying to spread my ego buffs, by the way. That's why I gave um, that to Mao instead of uh, Yesod. Even though technically he will do the most damage, if he's locked down like he is now, it's not going to do us very much good. Here we go. Unforgettable memory. Hard rehearsal. Very good. That's a stagger. That's another stagger. Very nice. Gamble. 18. 14. Daring decision by Mao. Oh, yeah. Ah. That was a ton of damage, though. That was so unbelievably worth it. Please don't be a fourth phase. Alright, here we go. A mess of arrows. Trash disposal. Ah, we got one reset. He's basically dead. Relay! Dodge. Oh wait, no, he staggered. We don't have we don't even have to dodge. Ah. Okay. Yeah. Ah. One down. Another one down. Ah. Three down. One no, two remain. And so ends that. Four phases. Are you freaking kidding me? Oh, man. Four freaking phases, bro. Come on. Ay, ay, ay. Alright, here we go. Oh, boy. Ah. Well, that's just fantastic. That's an immediate death. We were doing so solid up until this point, but we still have a chance. Uh-oh. You can't block it all, but you can most certainly try. Let's see what happens. Good, Mal. Stagger. Dang it. Yes, you staggered. Excellent, Mal. Excellent. Everyone else can get in damage now. I think we did it. Unless there's a freaking fifth phase, which I'm sure hoping there's not. No! Dude. How many phases are in this fight? I've beaten four of your phases with one department, with only one death. How are you not done yet? This is so stupid! Please be over. Okay, just in case, I'm not using any of my resources. <laughs> and it seems like that was a good idea, because he's still alive! Wow. And he's just getting stronger! What? How <laughs> are you supposed to beat this? Oh, this is so stupid! Okay, oh, it's a mass attack! I didn't even realize that. Nice! Ugh. Yeah, okay. Ah. This is so... Unbelievably dumb! How many phases does he get? When do we get this many phases? Oh. Well, he's guaranteed staggered, so I guess this is our chance. Plus, he's paralyzed. May as well just do as much damage as we physically can. Plus, 
He's debuffed next round. Hopefully that means something, and this is actually the end. Because I gotta tell you, we're running out of steam at an alarming rate. Is he doing a mass attack? Is that the sound I just heard? I don't think so. Wait. Mass individual users... <sighs> We're totally out of energy on Yesod. Dang it. We're out of, we were out of energy on Yesod. I couldn't do anything. I don't... What does 2 to 7... This. It's not enough. Ugh! It's not enough. I don't know what to do. I The only thing we can do is just try and block it. But obviously that's not going to work out very well. Staggered. We're dead. How many times do we have to beat the freaking guy? Oh my god. God, literally five freaking waves was not enough. It's not enough that we have to be three people, then one person, then five people, then another person, then three more. Then we have to fight him again. Freaking bring his entire family. May as well just kill his whole bloodline at this point. Well, we got back and guess what? It doesn't even matter if you dodge the laser because it still does the damage to you. Oh, absolutely amazing. I do so love balance and mechanics. So dumb. Up, oh, ah, mm, gosh darn. Oh, that sure does suck. I guess you, uh, you dodged my attack? Oh, man. Well, I guess we're still gonna do damage to you. <laughs> hey. All right, you know what? We're going for it. We're going for it. Okay. It's enough light. We're going for it. Energy cycle! And it didn't work. Woo! I love gimmicky abilities. Woo! <sighs> Had we gotten the high roll, we would have killed him. However, I am not so lucky. Also, we're presumably all about to die. Uh, I'll see what I can do, but I mean, chances are this isn't going to turn out too well. Alright, we do block. Block again. Can't block that one. So low. <laughs> uh, but she doesn't have any card draw. Well, now she does. A lot of good it does her now, but. Mm, high roll! High roll! So close. So close, Kalana. You almost clutched it. Almost clutched it. I've had enough of your shenanigans, Philip. It's time for you to die. The fence, the crack of dawn, tailoring, and the dimensional rift. Alright, fine. Let me show you. Don't be another... Well, there's a stage seven! There, I swear... If there is another stage, I am going to absolutely lose my mind. You're gonna hope that I give you a swift death. Are, are you kidding me? He still ran away? Literal baby. Ugh. Nice.
We got three whole books for that. And then one of them separated itself from the big guy and got away while it was turning into a book. He was still his cowardly self deep inside. Nothing about him really changed. It must have been the library's will to let this happen. The library's will, huh? It sure does work in mysterious ways. I know how ugly the human mind could be, but that was just nastily explicit. Perhaps everyone has such vulgarity deep inside their minds, covered up in layers of facade. And the distortion unwraps all that to expose their true feelings? I cannot say for sure if it's the pure expression of their unadulterated feelings. I'm still uncertain whether it's the distortion unveiling the emotions, or the emotions being distorted as they are revealed. It should reveal the most honest side nonetheless, having all their facades taken off. That ought to feel like being naked, huh? Nothing's as awkward and embarrassing as the moments right after letting out all your honest thoughts. What do we even get? <sighs> oh, there's two legendaries! We'll burn one. Give it to us first try, please. That... Not quite. Although, holy crap! Can only be used at emotion level 3 and above. Woo! Okay. Okay, burn one more. Only one more. I, I don't want to burn the last one. I really don't want to do that fight again. Oh, thank you. Oh, oh we're done. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, that fight was so... Oh, hey, it's him. Uh, yeah, you're telling me, crying child. If target has burn... Burn, 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 burn. See, technically... I feel like Kyle should get this because of his whole dragon thing. But at the same time, well, no, she doesn't need to wear it. But man, that would look good on Sally. Just saying, get her wing back. Ooh, she's back to her supreme self. I don't know who's going to use this, honestly. Someone who's a burn build. Um, yeah. So I can basically tell you what next episode is going to be littered with. And it's only abnormalities. <laughs> Uh, I was warned that I shouldn't do Gaburra yet, but at the same time, it, ooh, that, ooh, ooh, I want it. So, this is going to be the longest episode to date, but I want to do one more fight, and then we'll end the episode, and then next episode, we'll finish the final fight, and hopefully, we'll go through all of the fights, and we'll see how that goes. All right, it's taken a while, but, okay. I think we finally beaten our third fight. And uh, I gotta tell you, not the easiest thing we've ever done. It got very close. Currently fixated on Crimson, so not a lot to be done about that. I'm actually kind of worried that we won't be able to finish the fight. Alright, Hod's got this, I'm pretty sure. I think Hod has this. Although, it is uh, significantly closer than I would like. I need the guaranteed kill. Please, Hod. Oh. <laughs> oh. We didn't even get any lore for that? Seriously? Okay. <sighs> oh my goodness, this has just stunk. It was headwear? Oh, here it is. Yeah, okay, we'll put that on. Oy, oy, oy. What's funny is, I've already tried it so many times, we already have all their stuff. But, um, yeah, the old, me the old people, a little bit too hard. Um, not to mention, we still have all of these to go. So, um... <laughs> we have our work cut out for us. We could just say that much. I also gave Gregory Adalis a uh, Phillips look because he was Joshua, and I figured, you know what? This is close enough to White Knight. May as well. So, 
that is going to do it for this episode of quite possibly the longest Library of Runa video to date. Uh, maybe it won't be that long, but while I'm editing, I guess we'll find out. But I'm pretty sure it's going to be long. Oh, all right. So a couple of our builds were touched up. Some builds are better than others. And some builds still need to maybe have a little bit more of a touch up. Uh, but all in all, I think it's been going decently well. We should probably farm some more gifts. I keep calling them gifts. I know that they're not gifts, they're battle symbols, but I just call them gifts from the first game. It's like ingrained into my mind. But, uh, yeah, I think gifts, they're pretty necessary. Obviously, some characters have quite a few. Some characters have, like, basically none. But all in all, we're gonna need to farm some more up because, yeah little bit painful the lack of stats that we have so if we can get that sort of fixed up that'll be pretty nice like for example facey randy and bong bong have practically zero and of course tiferith um her department has basically nothing so yeah we need to do a little bit of cleaning up as far as gifts go but all in all i'm pretty happy about our builds um some definitely feel a little bit weaker than others, but hopefully I've tweaked them enough to where they'll actually be good. And some departments aren't going to be able to function quote quote properly until we've done more farming, so that's just kind of something that's going to happen. Uh, not a lot we can do about that until we beat the abnormalities, which we are absolutely going to be doing in the next episode of the Library of Runa. I've done just enough rambling to be able to get through every single one of our characters, and now I will see you guys in the next one, where we are absolutely going to be getting more people. Um... Crimson will be going into Keter, and Caius will be will be taking Crimson's place in Hod's department. And then, of course, we still have some more people to go. Uh, people from the old corporation that need to show up. It's going to be a whole thing. Hopefully, we can actually beat some of these abnormalities, and we still have the old people cult to go fight. But, jeez louise, man. Also, I'm sorry, but Philip reminds me of, like, you know when you're a kid and you're, like, play fighting with someone and, uh, you're like, uh, now he have a laser beam and, and, and now he, he ignore your attack because he, he, he got flame, uh, carpet and that mean he not, he can't take fire. And then your friend's like, oh, I block his attack. And you're like, no, 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 he, he goes through it. He goes through it, and then, oh, I, I land the killing blow. No, no, he, he run away. He, he run away. He, he got, he got somewhere to go. You know, that's how it feels like. It feels like someone's awful Mary Sue OC infiltrated the game. And watch, it's gonna be like, oh, he's actually White Knight. <laughs> like, oh uh, yeah. Well, at least we're done with. <laughs> he ran away, so I don't know that. But for the moment we're done with him but I swear if he turns into white knight I'm gonna pop a gasket bye <laughs>